Hey peeps, Robert Costa here, aka Groove Mechanic, Ableton Certified Trainer, and developer of GM Audio Max for Live Devices. I just wanted to do a brief video of some of the new features in GM Audio Ducker 1.5 and show you some tips and tricks on how to get the most out of it. Now I've got GM Audio Ducker as the last device in my device chain on my bass instrument. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the sidechain input to my kick. And this will be the instrument that will trigger the envelope that will control the volume of the bass. Now let's hit play and just make sure everything's working correctly. So the orange signal on the scope is the envelope that's being applied to the bass. And the blue signal is the bass, the green being the kick. Now in Ducker 1.5, I can zoom in. And there's also a beat mode, which will refresh the scope every quarter note. I can also freeze the scope and then reposition where I'm looking on the scope so I can see individual notes. Now, the two most important controls with GM Audio Ducker are the hold time and release time. And these are now both on big dials as they're going to be the things that you're going to be tweaking the most. Typically, if you have a shorter kick, you would have a shorter hold time and a longer kick, a longer hold time. And with faster music, you would generally have a shorter release and slower music, a longer release. Now, in this first example, we have a really short kick and a really long sustained bass. So we might need a shorter hold time and then we'll play with the release and find what works best. So that's definitely tightened things up already, just with a small amount of adjustment. Now in this particular scenario, I kind of want the bass to come in quite quickly. So I've set a shorter release. So a new feature in GM Audio Ducker 1.5 is the absolute envelope mode. And what this shows is the combined envelope of both the kick and the bass. And occasionally it results in an increase in level, or if you see a dip, it's a decrease in level where these two sounds are slightly canceling each other out. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can treat this. We can try the invert button and see if that minimizes the interference between the two sounds, or we can adjust the curve and try and mitigate some of those issues. So I kind of like the sound of it at 0.5 and I can switch back to envelope mode to see the envelope that's being applied. Now I'll just turn that off and back on. So you can hear with it off that the volume of the kick changes. Sometimes it's louder, sometimes it's quieter. Sometimes the kick's distorting, sometimes the bass is distorting. And this is the two sounds interfering with each other. So by having GM Audio Ducker at 100%, completely muting the bass for a short period while the kick plays, and then baiting it in with some nice settings that suits the music that you're producing, we get a perfect kick every single time. And quite often, we get a much better, tighter bass as well. So I've just reset everything to its default value for the hold, release, and curve. So this time around, the whole time might be bang on, but we might want to increase the release a little bit. And then we'll check it in absolute envelope mode and see what adjustments can be made. I'm gonna to switch to absolute envelope mode now. And we can see that there's the orange line is cutting into the base. So switching to beats mode makes it a little bit easier to see because it's four on the floor. So we can try using this invert button down here, which will invert the bass signal. And that could turn those dips into boosts and the boosts into dips or just help mitigate those issues altogether. So we'll see how that works out. Straight away, it sounds better and we're getting a bit more of the kind of transient energy of the bass because the bass has a bit of pluckiness to it. So with it off, yeah, it's kind of, the kick is canceling out the bass with it on. They're now working together. So let's try adjusting the curve. 
yeah, nah, it's perfect at, at zero. So if I turn this off and back on, we get more kick, we get more bass. Sounds good. Let's move on to the next example. Cool, so I'm back to the default settings again, and this time around I've got a drum and bass example. So again, a little bit shorter kick and a much faster tempo, so we might need a faster release. Let's have a listen. Cool, I think I like that. Let's have a look in absolute envelope mode. Yeah, sounds good. So I'm generally tweaking these things by ear, but the scope definitely helps dial in these settings. Let's have a listen to how that sounds bypassed. And back on. Yeah, that kick definitely cuts through better. And then I can switch back to envelope mode to see the envelope is being applied to the bass. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the new features of Ducker 1.5. Happy music making.